Hi guys, welcome back to Tech Check. Um, as you can see, we've not had a huge amount of progress over the last four days. Um, there's been too many commitments from work and just family things that's been going off. So it's Saturday, it's a full week since we uploaded our last uh, uh, video. So um, we've managed to couple a couple of hours together. Um, and today we're gonna to be taking off uh, the worktop and we're going to be installing a light strip that goes all the way around I'm sure you're aware it's the uh, Govi dream color um, light strip so you can utilize Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or however you want to utilize it um, we've also got some white conduit here I'm going to use to actually cover up the cables from the bottom of the uh, the plug socket down there to the top of these monitors here so I just wanted to give you an update uh, I'm gonna time lapse it so it's not gonna be a long long video it's I think it's gonna offer a little bit more of a ambience to the room and stuff like that I'm gonna be intrigued to find out how it's gonna actually look uh, with the red and black that we've got going off there's a reason why I left that white strip all the way along the bottom around 20 centimeters just so the light could have a bit of an effect so let's get it uh, installed let's see how it looks and if not we've also got enough um, acoustic foam to go to the bottom of the desk so give me around half an hour I'll time lapse it anyway so I'll put it in quick uh, quick motion for you and then we'll see what it looks like So guys, I purchased the Govi 5 meter dream color and I, d I don't know whether you can remember but from part one, uh, this desk is uh, 80 in depth and two meters in, in length. So I bought a five meter one, which has resulted in me having uh, just over a meter's worth of uh, light strip left. Now, what's very, very important is these can be cut okay but you just need to make sure that you're cutting them correctly across the right uh, right connection lines so it's clearly identified I don't know whether we can focus on that um, but it's clearly identified by the three copper marks there and if you cut in a straight line directly across from them it allows you to obviously cut them to length um, fairly straightforward to be honest what I did do it did make a mistake I went too low on the left hand side one which resulted in one of the connections either having to come around the front of the desk which I didn't want or to have to cut it an inch and a half two inches back uh, to be shorter so ideally it, this would be another three inches longer to allow it to be an inch longer that side an inch longer that side or inch and a half uh, but I couldn't do it because I didn't have any bits where I could cut it I had basically these strips are made up of one and a half meters or just over one and a half meter in length and then they're connected by solder here and that was the only thing that I had and now if I'd have cut it across there there would have been a chance that the strip would have been ruined and I couldn't utilize it so what I decided to do was bad to be honest but I took it back off raised it up an extra inch and a bit this side to give me an extra inch and a half that side and uh, yeah it managed to be peeled off and then stuck back on. Again, ideally you would like it to, as soon as you peel back the brand tape with 3M tape, it's primarily not to be 
used and then used again. So um, I'm hoping that it sticks and stays on. I mean, it feels firm enough. It doesn't look like it's going anywhere. So we will get the desk back in place. We'll connect everything up and we'll see what it looks like. So there you are guys, I've managed to install the Gobi light strip uh, all the way around the edge of um, the worktop and it looks really really good. I don't think it does it justice on camera, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just nip outside, turn the lights off and then we'll just have a bit of a play uh, with some of the features that it can do. But overall it was pretty straightforward. Um, there's not really much to explain. Uh, all I would advise is take the whole of the strip uh, off of the, the holder it comes on. Uh, look for the direction arrows uh, in, in order to obviously make sure you don't cut it um, in the wrong place and make sure that you're cut, uh, cutting it across the, the bronze uh, connectors. And to be honest, it's pretty straightforward. So I've seen quite a few comments about you can't cut these Gobi uh, Dream Color uh, light strips and you can as long as you're cutting them in the correct place so I have got to obviously cable manage it you can see the cables dangling underneath the desk there um, I've still got the conduit to put in as well but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a play around with these lights and then we'll cut and we'll make sure that we we put the conduit in place for um, the extension cables and all the other cables that's going up from the desk behind the monitors in a different video because I'm just conscious this one's getting a little bit longer than what I thought. So give me a minute and we'll turn the lights out and see what it looks like. It's pretty dark now, uh, you won't be able to see me, uh, but as you can see, it does look really, really nice. I'm glad that I did decide to go down the sides of uh, the desk as well because it makes quite a big difference. Let's just change it to white and see what happens. Now that looks blue on camera, but it is actually white. Um, it's white in, in person, but it does actually look blue from back there. Um, we've got an orange, which looks more like white on the camera. So we've got a green that actually looks like green. A blue. A lighter blue. Purple, which still looks like blue. So we're going to have to look at some... Uh, Colour corrections on the video. There is also loads of other scenes that you can actually make, whether it's movie scenes or sunrise scenes or candlelight scenes. Is energetic, which you can choose different variations in modes and stuff like that. There's also a music mode as well. So when I stop talking, it stops, and when I start talking or making noise. You can obviously set it to different modes as well. So, guys, that's it from me, really. Um, I'll put the lights back on to say a final thank you. And, uh, yeah, Govi. So that's it from me, guys. Just a quick short video just to show that you can cut these uh, light strips. They're very, very easy to install. The effects that you get from them are absolutely fantastic. They are... Not the cheapest ones, but I would say they're the best value for money in terms of functionality, um, in terms of what you can do with them, in terms of the light uh, that's emitted from them. And for me, the price was bang on where I wanted to pay. So that's it from me, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Um, it would do me a big, big favor if you could leave me a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, leave them down below. And uh, if you haven't done so already, Feel free to subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. So, peace.